Lily here. I am back tonight with you for my review. I just filmed for you guys my friend mail that I got from Jessica at Breakup to Makeup. So please do check out that video. She gave me some really sweet, awesome stuff. Very thoughtful. It was a lot of Hello Kitty stuff. So I do recommend you guys check it out. I loved everything she gave me. My camera on my phone cut off early before I could finish taping the end of it and saying thank you and all that. So in the beginning of this video, I really wanted to say thank you, Jessica, for putting so much thought into sending that package to me with the items you chose and even the decorating of the box. If you guys didn't watch the video, this was the box that she sent me. It was super duper cute. It's like almost hard to open it. You don't want to, but there was so many lovely things in there. But I was supposed to do my review on that video as well, and I was unable to fit it in there. Something is going on with my phone where it's saying I don't have enough... Um, memory to film any more videos and I we have the iPhones that have a hundred and something gigabytes and I haven't made that many YouTube videos to where it shouldn't be able to fit so I was going through trying to delete some of them and I of course won't delete anything with my kids in it so it's going to take me a lot of time to get that figured out before I can make more videos but for now I'm using my iPad so I hope the lighting and the stability of it is okay but um, first things first I'm going to talk about these hair products, they were from the Sammy um, line. Now, I don't really know too much about these. I know they're not dollar store brand um, products. I want to say they're probably at maybe Walmart or Walgreens, CVS type of places. If you guys know, let everybody else know um, in the comments below. So if they don't find them in the Dollar Tree, they can find them because in... Um, in comparison to the products I normally use, these are a fraction of the price. I even think that their retail price elsewhere is less than what I normally use. But to get started, um, this was the Curl Activating Spray. And so this item here I would use right after I get out of the shower. Now keep in mind guys, when you have curly hair, you do not ever brush your hair. It is mainly just comb through with my fingers and I also usually do it with my head tipped all the way forward. I blow dry it like that and I also put my products in it like that. So um, I usually spray a leave-in conditioner in there first and then I sprayed this because I wanted this directly to be on top of the hair to help it um, get the curls activated. And then the second product that I hauled was the curl enhancing cream. So this to me I used as like a leave-in conditioner. We replaced my other one. I think I used about, from the amount of hair I have, I use about four or five pumps of this. And then you make sure you have to rub it all really good around your fingers because you don't want to leave it in a glob so that the glob just doesn't go in one spot. You want to make sure you rub your hands together, get it all over, and work the product in so that it's evenly dispersed through the hair. And then um, after that, I use the mousse because this would be your item that has a fairly good hold. It says it on here that it shapes and holds the curl. So this would be, for me, this would be the second to last thing I put in my hair because my hair is so wild and giant. I do often have to use like a gel or another curl defining cream with a strong hold to, to get it to last all day. Because if I, if I just let it air dry, it would be cute like this for a few hours and then it would just turn into fuzz so if your hair does that too you simply probably just need something with more hold and if your hair is really flat then you need to let up on something else it's it's um, too heavy of product that you're using so I will say that this mousse is really thick and creamy um, my other mousse I have that has a really good hold it's it's more airy so when you touch it it smashes down really easy whereas this is more like a creamy mousse so I like the I like that factor about it because you could tell it's gonna hold really well when you put it in there and it's it just has a different feel to it so I like that a lot so the products that these were replacing that I would normally use are um, this Pureology spray that I use is a leave-in conditioner and I think I still spray this in my hair anyways just because I'm used to using it but this just is a leave-in conditioner it prepares your hair also for any curling or straightening or heat that you're going to use and this guys I think it's like 35 or 45 dollars for a bottle of this and that will usually last me about three to four months and then sorry I'm trying not to get too close <laughs> my other go-to products would be this bedhead foxy curls 
and this mousse retails I think for either $16 or $19 so just imagine buying this every month every two months it's, it's a lot of keeps the curly hair and then this guys is the product I've been using forever and I if this ever goes out um, if they ever do away with this product I would be so upset this is called curls rock and it's an amplifier and now this is like instead of being a gel where it's crunchy it's a more creamy hold so it makes your hair really soft but it's really good about defining your curls and that's an important thing with curly hair too you want your curls to be in little ringlets that are defined but without being crunchy like 90's crunchy shiny you want it to be soft and have volume so if you guys want to know um, how I get my big volume in my hair I will um, do a curly hair routine video as, as best I can because I can't really do it while I'm in the shower and show you guys what I can do or what I do to my hair so I'll have to figure out a way to get the best idea for you to, for you to follow along but I do have my own specific ways I do blow dry it with a diffuser I do it with my head tipped a certain way and getting even out of the shower I do certain things to it so that it doesn't get smashed down and it has all the volume that it has like I really like that I can just do you know like put my hair however I want it and we'll stay it's really cool so if you guys want to see that um, leave it in the comment below or you can Instagram me maybe we can do like some sort of big 80s hair challenge and see who can get the biggest volume with my routine it'll be pretty fun I think and then one more thing I want to talk about is after you're done I always hit up my hair with um, a hairspray. Now this hairspray also I've been using this, I want to say since I was like 16, 17. It's the only hairspray that actually works and stays in my hair. It's made by Joyco. Um, when you spray hairspray, you don't want to spray it really close because you will be getting it crunchy look. You do want to hold it further away and just kind of let it land on your hair. And then I use my fingers to kind of crunch it into where I want it. And this has a memory hold to it. So it, I want to say it does. I've always used this hairspray and it's the only one that works. So Whatever it says it does, I'm going to say it does. And then I think this is like $15 hairspray. And this will usually last me about, I want to say, anywhere from three to six months. It just depends how crazy I'm going with it. Um, after I sleep on my hair, I usually will hit it with some hairspray just to, you know, spruce it back up in the morning. And this, I, I recorded some more footage of my hair after being slept on with these products, just so you guys can see. It stood the test of time like my others. And then I even wore my curls like this with the with the Sammy product to Zumba, and I didn't put it up. I let it get sweaty and how I would normally go to Zumba, and it looked, it looked pretty good still afterwards. So I'm going to have to say that the Fat Curls by Sammy is a really good curly hairline um, for budget being on a budget and even so I think I would buy more anytime I saw it at the Dollar Tree just to have on hand because to me it it, it looks great my curls aren't dry looking they're not fuzzy they're not frizzy and I say it works so um, I have some more reviews to do for you guys on a couple more things since I have time on this video and I kind of wanted to get them done since my phone is being crazy. I thought I would get them done on this video. So if you're oh if you don't want to see Play-Doh or um, the information about the Benzac acne line, then you can kind of just skip through or watch it if you're curious. But we just on a whim bought this Play-Doh because my youngest son Axton is in a super huge Play-Doh kick and he gets the new Play-Doh out of the Play-Doh packaging and he he right away just mixes. He mixes all the colors together so they're immediately ruined and they're all brown. So instead of buying him brand new Play-Doh each time that's like a dollar per package from um, Hasbro, we decided to try out this box of, uh, it's called modeling dough at the Dollar Tree, but it's the same thing, it's Play-Doh basically. And there's three different um, variations of colors you can get, or assortments of colors. There's the pastels, and if you see on the box here, it's got like little cupcakes and stuff, it's super cute. I think these make great Easter gifts to put in the baskets instead of candy. All kids like to play with Play-Doh, and it says on here that it's modeling dough. And then you kind of can see the colors you can get there. And then also on top, and I was quite surprised to see that the colors looked exactly the same inside the package as they did um, on the lid. So I was like, oh, you're going to open it up and it's going to be like some faded all color. But it actually, 
and actually it was pretty close. So here is the lavender color. And then if you look, guys, it's pretty dang close to the, the lid. I was, you know, I just was expecting it not to be. Now, the Play-Doh is a little bit more firm itself, but in all actuality, it's 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 got good consistency. It doesn't get on your hands like some of the cheap Play-Doh I've seen before. Like, you touch it and then it leaves transfer on your hands, so that's really not good for clothes or your carpet or couches, but we keep the Play-Doh only on hard surfaces, so on the wooden floors only is where they're allowed to play the Play-Doh, and um, on the tile floor, but we mainly keep them on the wood floor, so little pieces that dry up, we kind of just sweep them up once they are dried the next morning, because it's super dry here in Vegas, it takes them like an hour to be dried up, and then we just toss it out and give them new, because for, you get four tubs of Play-Doh this size for a dollar, guys. That's a really good deal. Now, the only thing I really don't like too much is the lids aren't that tight on here. So, if you live somewhere where it's humid, it probably would be okay. But because it's so dry here, like, you could seriously leave your dying, your your sandwich bread out for 20 minutes and go do something and forget about it. And it's like a cracker when you come back. Like, everything gets so dried out here in the desert. So, that's the only thing I really don't like about that. And then... Here is the minty kind of green color, so pretty close, right? And I probably won't open every single package of the Play-Doh because <laughs> you kind of get the gist that it is, it is like it says it is. But I wanted you guys to see my honest review on the Play-Doh that if you see it, pick it up. We, I mean, we pretty much cleared out the two stores we went to of the Play-Doh because, like I said, Axon goes through it so quick. And at 25 cents a tub, guys... It's like you can give these away at a birthday party in a, in a little goodie bag. You take the package open and everybody gets a Play-Doh. I mean, it's a really good deal. I think the, the what's it called, the purchase price or, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's late. <laughs> but you're getting a good deal. For, you're getting a, each Play-Doh for a quarter there. Now these ones are by the actual Crazy Art brand, and I've only seen these in one or two Dollar Tree locations, and I don't think I've opened them up yet, but you only get two, like I said, for a dollar, so that would make you 50 cents a piece. Still better than paying for Play-Doh. And then these guys, their package looks a little bit more like it's trying to be, just like Play-Doh, but it is Crazy Art. Now their lids are a little bit harder. And then, oh, no, this one feels just like Play-Doh too, so there's the green. And there's its lid, so you can see it's pretty much the same dang thing. It smells, uh, it smells like a little bit coconutty, which is kind of different. Play-Doh smells. There's no color left on my fingers, so that's good. So all in all, too, I think this, the Crazy Art one probably feels a little bit more like Play-Doh. It's a little bit softer, but for little kids that are going to be rolling it or use it in cookie cutters or whatever... You're not going to know the difference. You get more for your money here. So if you're going to do a minute Easter basket, I would say to do those or goodie bags because you get, you know, like I said, four for a dollar. And these are cute if you just want to keep them at home for your kitties. And then another package we saw was this one. And it's the same as the other one, the softy dough or modeling dough. And this one, we're in these little mini guys. So those would even be good to do in goodie bags. And the top shows you the colors you're getting there. I thought these were really good, too. Well, it's the same as those. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about, since that's all the Play-Doh, I think we did find some also at the 99-cent store. And those ones are really cool, too, because on the tops of those, there was actually molds where you could play with the Play-Doh and shape things in. But I wasn't sure if the Play-Doh felt exactly the same. I'll have to get back to you guys on that. And then I'm currently using the Benzac that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I picked up two of these, and I picked up two of these, and I did not grab stage number three. And that is a moisturizer, which is also very important, but I have my own moisturizer. But I would have liked to have all three items to get an honest opinion on all three. So I think I need to use these for about two weeks before I can give you a review, like a, a realistic review. I can't expect them to have worked in two days, but... What the heck, we'll see here. Um, two weeks, I'll let you guys know. But that is it for my review portion. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. If you want to see more reviews, um, let me know in the comments below. If you've tried the Play-Doh and like it or had any issues, also let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys shortly. Thanks for watching.